So the little retired building that we just painted, um, I like paintings like that. It was a very simple composition. Um, just presenting one item for the most part with a supportive backdrop and a supportive base. Um, it's sort of in the nature of a study more than a painting, you know? There isn't a lot of distance, not a lot of perspective. It's not terribly sophisticated. I think I'd like to do something else like that again. I am not big on making a painting on a small panel. I, If I'm going to make a painting, it's going to be a painting. Like, it's going to be something larger. So, although, yes, okay, it is a painting. You know, a small painting. But I'm not big on playing with fine brushes and small detail. What I prefer to do is uh, just intensify some areas of it and try to make it interesting without those other tools, which in fact is a handicap. But it's fun. So I've always loved boats. I've always been, I love the look of them. You know, uh, everything from speed boats to to tall ships to, yeah, you know, to, well, I especially like jaunty things. So I was thinking about maybe painting a dory um, that had been pulled ashore, sitting on the bank somewhere, and uh, and using a similar theme to the one that I just that I used on the last painting, in that it would just be sort of supported by um, the indications of trees behind it, maybe a slash. Showing some water, you know, maybe maybe a, a muddy bank with some strewn rock. But so, okay. Now that I've been saying all this stuff, I guess my point is, I'm not going to paint a scene with a dory in it. I'm going to paint a dory that has a scene around it supporting it. Not even a scene, just information. So. Let's just start with that. Let's see what we can do. There's a certain angle that I quite enjoy. And I'll probably have to do this a few times. There's my handy rag. Okay. I want the prow. I want the the bow. To sit proudly out. Flat bottom boat a dory is. A flat bottom boat a dory is. Sorry, that was my imitation of Yoda. couple lines right let's keep working let's just see this canvas it doesn't have so much tooth it's kind of easy on the tooth maybe it's not going to be a dory maybe it'll just be dory like mistake with that. Uh, immediately, visually, it kind of bothers me. I'm 
Now, a dory has quite a bit of rocker to it. Rocker on a boat means that if you were to turn the boat upside down and look down its keel, which is this line running right down the center of the boat underneath it, means that the keel, if you look down it, it'll be, it'll be, it'll, it actually, um, it's like a banana. If it's upside down, it's like it, it's shaped like a hill. That helps the boat handle some very rough water. Okay. Okay, we're close. We're close enough. We're close enough that I'm willing to put in some lines. Are they rocks? I have no idea. What are you asking me for? Now I'm going to do something here a moment that is going to be an aid for me in painting the shape of the boat. These are indexing lines again. Or you could describe them as such. Because it helps helps me to get the feel for for the roundness, the the, the bend of the gunnel. Uh, the gunnel is the gun gun well it comes from gun whale, I guess, or gunnel. It's the top edge of the boat, something you'd hang on to when you're when you're going through the ocean or going through the water. And by putting these lines in, it helps to, it helps to inform my brain as to the shape of it. Okay. Now, I think I should probably indicate the presence of some water. It's not very straight, that's okay. And we're doing this. So, how about if maybe. Tree line. Get down. And we're stronger here to oppose this line, could oppose this line. Yeah, I think that could work. It's a start. Well, we'll get a few lines in place here. I think we'll interrupt that bottom of the boat. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I have to do this. I better do this right.
I'm going to be something like that. that dark for now. The light's coming from the right, so I'll leave that dark for now. That's going to be the bottom of the the bottom of the boat, which will be quite flat. I this is not going to be a, a true dory really, but close enough. Show the bottom of the boat there a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna make that dark too. What I really need is something I can work with. And I think that shape now is pretty good. I'm liking the idea of having the tree line like this. something along these lines. I think I kind of like where that vertical is. Just hinting at, you know, branches or, or yeah, I have to be careful. I don't even want to put branches in too much of that sort of thing back there. But we're just hinting at them. You know, they can be removed. I think as I said in the last painting, I tend to put a lot of lines in that will get removed later. And that's just fine. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Okay, now... I'm going to have that rock interrupting that line. I like that. And maybe a... sort of a... rock-strewn area here in the foreground. I think that could work. Okay, those are the outlines. I'm going to leave it at that for now. Picking up my tripod. Now I'm a talking head. I'm looking forward to this. It's fun. I haven't done a boat yet on YouTube, I don't think. Hope you have a good weekend. Talk to you soon.